What's up, gay straights and other days? It's Mally. I'm here with another episode of Butterfly Soup. We have now switched over into Akarsha's point of view. So let's just get right on into this. Hey, I'm here. Hello, Dia, homie. Dia is crawling on her hands and knees in the bushes. What are you doing? Caught him. Wait, what? Dia emerges from the brush with a caterpillar in her hands. It's fat and striped. Ew. Dia turns to face her. Because she's deaf in one ear, when she stands up straight, she actually faces slightly to the right. Oh, okay. Don't be rude. We should give him a name. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, these are all... I understand this one, so fine. Miles Tails Edgeworth it is. Or Edgeworth. Miles Tails Edgeworth. What kind of name is that? It's a character from the Ace Attorney games. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's hella gay, you should play it. Okay, Akarsha's definitely... She's definitely got a more accepting household, I would think. You say that like I'd be interested just because it's gay. You're not? Good gay stuff is hard to come by. Hey! Uh, Dia scrutinizes Miles' tails, Edgeworth, as he inches across her palm. You're so invested in these kinds of things. Video games and stuff. They're a form of escapism. I need obsessions to distract me from the crushing emptiness and hopelessness of life. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> Dia scoops the caterpillar into her other hand. Did you hear the news? Obama won. Yes, we can. Yeah, but they outlawed gay marriage. Uh, they did? Prop 8 passed. Uh, I thought we were better than that. Nope. You shouldn't be surprised. There are a lot of yellow-wearing guys. Don't even have to ask my parents what they voted. I know. Aww. Oh, dear. But the thing is, it used to be legal. We used to be better. It's not just that the world sucks. The world sucks, and it's getting worse. Obama, though. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Miles Tails Edgeworth is crawling up Dia's arm now. Gross. That's so shallow. He has a good heart. Don't yellow and black stripes normally mean it's poisonous? Caterpillars are only poisonous if you eat them. Not dangerous if you're nice. Dia carefully returns the caterpillar to a tree branch. Ready to go? Dia nods. Aww. Oh, so we get kind of like the walk to school, but from Akarsha's point of view. Aw, cute. Akarsha. Yeah? Ugh. Never mind. What the... Okay. Ah, oh. So Dia must not... I think Dia might be in that weird middle place where, like, she has a feeling that she's gay, but she grew up in an environment where it was, like, probably considered unacceptable. I don't know if they go far as to call it an abomination like Noelle's parents probably did and what my parents do, but... Okay. That gives me a better idea now. We went ahead and got changed. It feels like we're a real team now, wearing the same uniform. <gasps> We're to see them in cute baseball uniforms this episode? Aww! We've still got some time to kill before the meeting starts. We've got to talk to Noelle. Come on, they're gonna be together by the end of this. I'm calling it now. Oh, look at her! Look, she's so cute in her uniform! Ah! Oh, I can't wait to see everyone else. Oh, you're so cute! Noelle is solving a professor's cube. Wh what? What? Is that some edgy nerd Rubik's cube? Unlike a regular Rubik's cube, it's five by five by five instead of three by three by three. Ugh. Dia's face lights up when she spots it. I solved one side for you already. Aw, Dia! Look at you in your uniform! It took me two hours. Aw. Dia proudly points to the cube. Indeed, one face is solid red. I see. I'm pretty sure that doesn't help at all. Aw. Sure enough, Noelle completely obliterates Dia's work in order to solve the cube correctly. Wow, you make it look easy. Well, there are lots of people that dedicate a lot of time to do that. Actually, it's the coolest thing I've seen so far. Like, one of the many cool things that I've seen online where, like, they take a bunch of Rubik's Cubes, right? And they scramble it, but they scramble it in such a way to, like, it makes a mural. So it's like a mosaic of Rubik's Cubes. It's so cool, and you should definitely look it up if you don't know what those are already. It's amazing. Did I help? No, but you tried. It's very cute. Of course. I appreciate it. Aww, wholesome, cute. Aww. Okay, let's talk to Min. Our bestie bit. <gasps> what a tiny 
she is. Oh my god, she's so cute on her back. Oh, her cat backwards. Man. Baby. Oh, I love them. Man has a textbook in her lap. She's flipping it to a chapter review page. Also, I'm sorry in advance, but I'm going to be cooing over everyone in their cute little uniforms. Are you doing your homework? That's weirdly studious of you. I told my parents I joined a tutoring club. Oh, lol. <laughs> Funny, so did I. Yeah, you did. You stood up yourself and I'm so proud of you, Noel. Aww. What? What do you need tutoring for? <laughs> I told them I was the tutor. That's perfect. You can tutor men then. Not at this stage in their friendship. Match made in heaven. Match made in hell. Uh, uh, <laughs> Min is me. Match made in hell. I don't want her help. Aw. As she says it, though, she's staring down at the page with a desolate expression. Math should just die. Yes, it should, sweetie. <laughs> Why? It's a discipline full of beautiful and complex patterns. Yeah, okay. There's absolutely nothing inherently bad or oppressive about it, yet people treat it like it's evil and malicious. Because it hurts my brain. A lot of pure math lacks any kind of practical application. It merely exists for the sake of stimulating people's minds and pushing the limits of the medium as far as possible. Okay. It's much like a form of art. Sure. Can't relate. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Min! Dude, let me see it. I'll help you. Problem one, Bill can paint a house in five hours and Mary can paint a house in three hours. How long will it take for them to paint a house together? What? What? Eight hours. Five plus three is eight. It, it, okay, even I know it's wrong. Doesn't mean I know how to solve it, but I know it's wrong. Uh, are you gonna be okay at this school? Oh no! Okay, talk to Dia. Dia is on the bench resting her head on Min's shoulder. She's showing Min a picture of a seagull on her cell phone. One side of the photo is blurry brown from Dia's thumb, partially obscuring the camera lens. Look how close I got to the seagull. That's pretty close. Do, do I still need to keep talking to people? We'll talk to Noelle again. Noelle peels a banana and takes a bite out of it. What the hell are you doing? Aren't you taking the banana sticker off? Why would I? It comes off with a peel anyway. Taking the sticker off first would be completely pointless. So you just eat it with the sticker still on? Yes? It doesn't have any effect on the inside of the banana. What the fuck's wrong with you? Min! <laughs> you, you're not human. Well, yes, but shh. How am I not human? <laughs> okay, so we do need to talk to everyone twice. Okay, Min! Would you kiss a girl for one million dollars? <laughs> Akarsha. Akarsha, you must be new here. I'd kiss a girl for free. Multiple times. <laughs> I guess? I don't have that kind of money, though. What? <laughs> what? No, I'm saying you get paid. Huh? Never mind. Oh, you thought you'd have to pay her- Man. I'm sure Dia would kiss you for free. <laughs> Talk to Dia. Aw, cuties. Life is so hard. Any words of wisdom, Dia? Uh, snowflakes are actually really, really small. Not like you would think from Christmas decorations. Well, yes. Uh, how big did you think they were? Like, the size of a plate? You're so precious. Wow, you must have been crazy disappointed when you discovered the truth. Any other advice? Uh, you can make Nutella sandwiches and eat them. <laughs> what? If you do this three times a day, you'll have three meals for like a dollar fifty. Dia, no! Thanks. The locker room door creaks open. When Noelle sees Chris and Liz come through, she lifts her hand to wave but aborts halfway through the motion. Oh. Scowling, she jerks the offending appendage back down like her hand had gone and betrayed the rest of her body. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? Nothing. Hey guys, we have a few announcements to make. First of all, Min Sa, you need to resubmit your parental permission form for the club. And this time, please have a real parental guardian sign it. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you forge? Did baby forge? Aww. She forged it? How can you tell? The signature was just the word mom in cursive. Oh. Min, come on! Fuck! <laughs> Min is running away! Come back! Krissa gets up and chases after her. Good on you, Krissa. There's nowhere to run! You dumb kid! <laughs> it sounds an awful lot like Min ran into the door again. Everyone else's forms look fine, though. So good job, guys. If you forged it too, I couldn't tell.
Be you, Akarsha. Akarsha has returned dragging a defeated man behind her. Next up, we're playing against an actual team today. What? Who? Oh, look at you, your uniform. You're adorable. We invited the team at Niles over. I have no idea what that is, but... Oh wait, it's the other school, isn't it? Okay. They should be here soon. Are we gonna be okay? Our team is made up of four baseball players, two nerds, and three weebs. Hey! Wait, did you count me as a nerd? I'm a hybrid. I'm a weeb, too. Guys, we'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> the maybe was too honest. Well, Don't worry, it's seriously super casual. They aren't bringing their coaches or anything. It's just the nine of them driving over in their cars. Just relax and have fun. This isn't really important, but they have a cool mascot. It's Killer Whales. What's our team name? Do we get a mascot, too? It's on your shirt. You're the Monarchs. You got butterflies. Read your damn shirt. It's Monarchs. That's so bland. Hey! But we're not really an official school team, so we can make a name up ourselves. Ooh. No. Down, girl. Any suggestions? Bagels. Okay, maybe a, maybe we do let a crush name the team. <laughs> do ya? The way you think is so damn cute. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Dia's adorable. For me personally, if that was like in ninth grade, I'd definitely like romance Dia, because she's adorable. Chicken nuggets. Ah! Dia! Precious baby! Bagels is so simple. I kind of like it. No, chicken nuggets is cuter. Yeah, I'd honestly be okay if it ended up like that. Any other suggestions? <laughs> Lips. Aw. We should be something stronger than killer whales to assert our dominance. What? Hunters? Monarchs are already more powerful than killer whales, though. Humans keep killer whales in captivity. But if it was like 1v1, a killer whale would tear a guy to shreds. It should be something bigger and more dangerous. Okay. Like what? Global warming? <laughs> Can we call ourselves the melting ice caps? <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, that's actually a hilarious name. No matter who we're up against, they'll pretty much just automatically lose. Like, tigers versus global warning. Who do you think is going to win? Our motto can be, underestimate us and the world will be destroyed. Liz. I love Liz. That's not a very positive motto. No, but it's effective. I'm still kind of impressed Noelle came up to that. What kind of name did you think I'd come up with? Um, hypotenuses, the Pythagoreans, uh, scalenes, maths. I don't know. Something nerdy that you thought sounded cool but was actually really cringy. Like the algorithms. Stop with the al- no, shut up. Stop. Yuck! I feel like throwing up. <laughs> shut up, I never suggested that. I don't like global warming. It's not threatening enough. Yes, it is! <laughs> How is it not threatening enough? It's irreversible and will devastate generations to come. But it's not a thing. Like a real thing. But Mint- What? Yes, it is! Climate change is real, the fuck? Are you saying you don't believe in global warming? She means it's like an abstract concept. Oh, okay, I was about to fucking say, Min's not that dumb. Yeah! We should be something that sounds like it could rip our enemies from limb to limb. Like, Death Machine. Oh, I was gonna say Wood Chipper, but that works. Are we forming a heavy metal band? Well, considering that metal music starts playing whenever Min starts going ape shit, probably. Death Bagels. Wait, that's actually so cute. Can we be the Death Bagels? That's better, I think. Death Bagels is dramatically cuter, but Min is too pleased that Dia can buy their suggestions to complain. Wait, I just thought of a name too. No. 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 <laughs> what? What is that? No, 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 no. I'm gonna cover yours. No, no. You don't need to know. In Yaoi, the Seme is the dominant guy in the couple. What is Yaoi? You don't want to know. Usually only teen girls who like anime know what it means, so maybe that's good. Most normal people will be totally oblivious. I was for a while, and then I wasn't, and I wish I was still oblivious. Yeah, the only reason Noelle knows is because I corrupted her. Let me reiterate that this is a bad idea. We're going to have to make up a fake definition when our parents ask what it means. It just means dominant. You don't have to make up a fake definition, just don't go into too much detail. Worth. How is that worth it? Okay, we'll settle this the fair way, which is a vote. 
everyone write your vote down on a piece of paper, but you already have uniforms. As much as I love the idea of forming a new team name, you have uniforms already. Akarsha votes for... Oh, I get to pick. Death Bagels! Krissa tallies up all the votes. The winner is... Death Bagels! Yeah! Aim status, sick. Yay! Ah, cute! The Death Bagels head out to the field! Yay! We're about to change our uniform. The other team is on their way. They're parking right now. Let's stretch and warm up first. Ah, oh, cool. The arrange in a huge circle and begin stretching like usual. Focus on your breathing and calm your mind. Suddenly, Noel whirls around looking frantic. Wait, are you okay? Noel, get with the program. Be a Zen master. Where's Dia? Huh? She didn't follow us out? Oh, where is Dia? Indeed, Dia is nowhere in sight. Holy shit, she's so quiet I didn't even notice she was gone. Minsa is missing too. Oh my god. They're doing it. Akarsha, you are a freshman! You are a freshman in high school! Stop it! That's impossible! Um, if you're talking in the terms I think you are, no, it's not. Min told me she was going to the bathroom on the way out, but that was like 15 minutes ago. She should be back by now. Maybe they got left behind in the locker room. Are we going back? Ah! What? Nothing. I was just randomly screaming. Akarsha? <laughs> Looks like Dia and Min aren't here, and the girls' bathroom is empty. We should split up and search for them. No, I've watched enough TV to know where this is going. We'll get picked off one by one. This is not a horror movie. Noel anticipating my thoughts as always. What is this, a horror movie? The killer whales will be here any minute. We don't have time to calm the school slowly together. Besides, we already lost the main problem, children. The rest of them aren't the type to just randomly wander off like this. That's true. Fine, disperse, death bagels. Yes, I love it. Be back at the field in ten minutes, whether you find them or not. Roger that. <laughs> Noelle is holding the door open for people as they exit the locker room. She smiles as Akarsha comes closer. I don't trust that. I can't stand here all day. You're cut off. <laughs> Noelle lets the door close into Akarsha's face. Oh. You know, I thought this was going to be a cute flirty moment, but then again, Noelle is still in the headspace that this is wrong, so what was I expecting? Oh my god. <laughs> Rude. Noelle is waiting for Akarsha outside. Meanie, where should we look? I don't know. If it was just Dia, I'd have guesses, but it's likely Min Sa forced her to go somewhere. You realize that Dia is like a foot taller and a hundred pounds heavier than Min, right? Yeah, but she likes Min, and they're cute, so... Oh, wait. You might not know that you're gay yet, Noelle, but you totally did this on purpose so you'd be alone with Akarsha, and you know it. <laughs> Min can't force Dia to do anything. If she took her somewhere, it's because Dia let her. Fine, force was too strong of a word. Coerced. Dude, chill. You're so neurotic when it comes to Dia. Can't you just trust her judgment? In kindergarten, I asked Dia what she wanted to be when she grew up, and she answered, a police dog. That's so cute. Dia's so cute. Well, it was kindergarten. Even in kindergarten, I understood that becoming another species wasn't an option because your parents told you that and they ruined you a fun. <sighs> Rude. Oh, we got feet. We can search the... No, we just looked at the bathroom. Library. No, nah, it's men. Doubt it. Locker room. Uh... Well, aren't we in the courtyard? No, let's go to the courtyard. Yeah, this is the courtyard. Okay. Classrooms, maybe? Uh... Auditorium. It's dead quiet in here. I'm just trying to go where I think they'd be. If I farted, you could hear it from a mile away. Don't. <laughs> Please don't. Yell something. Yamaru! That's hard to do in this sort of voice. Akarsha's shrieking echoes in the empty hall for several seconds. Wow, the acoustics in here are great. I realize there's nothing I can do to prevent you from doing this, so I will wait outside and pretend to not know you. Noelle, come back! Come back, we were being cute! Noelle leaves the auditorium. Yell something else. Oh my god. Oh, this voice is hard to yell in. Sasuke! I've heard that name. I don't know what it is, but okay. Okay, we're gonna keep yelling, apparently. Stop doing this to me! Beatboxing. Because I don't know how to beatbox and you can't make me. Stressed out! Beatboxing. Stop asking about college! 
Karsha, no. Oh, my sweet baby. Stop asking about majors in my career. Stop asking about my future. Stop hitting so close to home for me. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Karsha. I'm not good at anything. Akarsha. Oh, my baby. I'm a fraud. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not that smart. Okay. Okay, I got you now. Really quick, actually, for those of you that don't know what imposter syndrome is, because I feel like I, I bring it up a few times. Imposter syndrome is basically, and I'm going off the top of my head here, feeling like anything good that you achieve was by a stroke of luck and that everyone's gonna figure out that you are fake somehow and that nothing you do is real and it's all purely luck. And once people find out that none of it is real, they're gonna leave you, basically. So. That's, I think that's what Akarsh is going through right now. And I would know because I go through it all the time, so. Okay. I'm so afraid of failure that everything I do has to be funny because if I'm not serious, it's not like I was really trying. I'm so unhappy. Good thing I disguise it as a series of jokes so no one knows the gaping chasm of darkness I live on the edge of. Okay. Dialogue beating me over the head with it. I want to die. Kill me. No. No, I'm going to give you a hug instead. What are you doing? See, I told you I'd figure out where they are. Wah. Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to be going to the bathroom? I was. There's a family bathroom over there. She points to a door at the far end of the auditorium. Okay. Anyone can use it. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl. Oh. Okay. Right. Right. Take your time. Ming looks relieved that Akarsha let the topic drop. So, where's Dia? How should I know? Isn't she with the rest of you guys? You weren't together? Huh. Never mind, then. Are you serious about that dying stuff? Oh, that's right. You heard all of that. Ah, man. I never actively try to off myself. It's more like if I was crossing the street and a car came barreling towards me, I'm not sure I'd get out of the way. Then I'll hit the car out of the way. You'll hit it? What? With my own car. Or ram into the one driving toward you. Your car will get crushed. No, it won't. My car will be stronger. You think I'm gonna own some weak, shrimpy-ass car? That other car is as good as dead. <laughs> She's serious. She dead-ass tried to save me by crashing into another car. Min looks relieved that she made a car she laugh. She's holding an emo Lincoln Park skateboard under one arm. Wanna learn how to skateboard? Those aren't allowed at school, you know. Rules are made to be broken. Are you a square or a triangle? I'm pretty sure that's not how the saying goes. Min places her skateboard on the floor. Here, I'll show you something cool. Okay. Hold on to me. Not the Titanic music again! Oh my god. I got you. But don't make this weird. Don't make this weird. Ah, uh, yeah! What did I just say, you useless hoe? Oh my god! <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it so much! This is fucking ridiculous. The goddamn recorder! Min managed to stand on the skateboard with a car shot on her shoulders. We're soaring, flying, something, something, breaking free. I haven't watched High School Musical. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Hey, neither have I. I have no idea what it is. It's okay. Let's just keep repeating that one line. We're soaring, flying. We're soaring, flying. <laughs> Feel better now? Yeah, I'm fine. I needed that. Akarsha's eyes are filling up with tears. Hug her. Hug her. Time to make a joke. Hug her. You know what the economy needs? Three dollar bills. They should put my face on it. <laughs> Min ribs her in the arm. You suck. Mean. Akarsha ribs her back. Hey! Oops, that was a bit harder than I expected. <laughs> Min hits her back harder. You guys are gonna end up with bruises. Akarsha retaliates by spitting on her own knuckles. Ew! Stop! My punches inflict poison damage now. Ew! 
could turn into a fist fight. Stop! Hearing signs of violence, Noelle has run back into the auditorium. Chrissa, look what they're doing! Min, come back to the field with me. <laughs> Chrissa drags Min off, leaving Akarsha and Noelle behind. Okay, let's go find Dia then. Let's leave. Uh, let's try the library then. Maybe she wants something quiet. Noelle looks incredibly amused. Why the library? You think Min Sa is gonna read a book? We already found Min. Doesn't hurt to be thorough, right? Akarsha squeaks the door open. The book scanner alarms go off. <laughs> I forgot that we did that to her. Oh no. Everyone in the library turns to look at her. Oh shit. Well, Noelle's gonna get a kick out of this, and I'm glad. Weird shriek. Oh. <laughs> Did that count? I'm sorry. Whoever's wearing headphones right now, I'm sorry. Akarsha panics and bolts back out the door. <laughs> Ooh, good thing no one chased after us. What even just happened? I don't know. How odd. I love Noelle. <laughs> I don't even have any books in my backpack. Why did it go off? Maybe it was a fluke. You should try again. No. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Clever girl. All right, try the locker room then. Uh, field, maybe? Track. I guess the track. Hey, that's... Oh, hey, Dia. There we go, we found her eventually. Dia is sprinting around the track at top speed. Yo, Dia. She can't hear us from here. Once Dia rounds bed, Noelle and Akarsha flag her down. She's completely drenched in sweat. What are you doing? I got nervous, so I ran three miles. Dia feel better now. Uh, okay. Why didn't you say anything? Dia looks at her as though she's crazy. Stressful. I don't like to bother people. Hugs. Hugs! Ah, Dude, you know that not communicating just makes most situations even more stressful, right? You should go back to the diamond. That way Chris and Liz will know where you are. Dia nods and trots off. We found both of them. Yes! By the power of teamwork, and by that me being mostly puzzling out things in my head. Yes. Once again, I'm a hero. You're not a hero. Let's head back to the field too. Aw. Okay, let's go. Well, Akarsha's existential crisis out of the way. <laughs> okay, we're back. Finally, everyone's here. And no one fell victim to a serial killer. What a relief. Death bagels, assemble! The other team is warming up on the field. Two of them break from the rest of the group and rush up to Dia. Dia rears back in fear and hides behind Noelle for a moment before she appears to recognize them. Yo, hey, I forgot your name already, but I remember you. Look at you all growing up. Dia, it's us. Hey, I forgot your name. Ah! Dia high fives him with a brutally excessive amount of force. Their palms meet with a deafening clap. The victim swears and flaps the affected hand as if to shake off the sting. He's trying valiantly to smile, but there are tears of pain in his eyes. <gasps> John, I remember you! Oh! We made our team accept the match when we heard you were here. You look different from Min now. Can't believe this. Wouldn't it be more unbelievable if we still look the same after all this time? Dia raises her hand for another high five. No! No, 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 I don't want it! John, you're so adorable, little baby! Dia, you know them? Yeah, childhood best friends! We know Hayden from elementary school, and Jun's my twin. Oh, that's right. I don't think we knew the name of the little evil dragon from elementary. Jun jolts at the sound of Min's voice, visibly shocked. Min? What are you doing here? Same thing as you. Baseball? Why are you surprised? We were at a ball game together. Do mom and dad know you're doing this? Do you even need to ask? John sighs. He seems really used to this. Well, he lives with her. Now that everyone's here, let's get started. Yay! Yay! Baseball time! Baseball time! Okay, it's gonna be another short one today, because again, I want to keep Akarsha's little existential crisis contained in like one sort of episode. Okay, cool. So we're about to play our first game. Yay, and it's against people we know. This is gonna be so cute. All right, but we'll get that next time, I promise. But circling back to Akarsha's little um, imposter syndrome crisis, because that's that's what it was. That That's really what it was. And honestly, she was yelling so loud, I'd, I'd be surprised if Noel didn't hear it. But maybe she didn't, maybe she did. Who the fuck knows? But honestly, 
As someone who goes through that on the regular, it is totally normal. And it's just something that you kind of just have to get through and find ways to deal with. But it's not a fluke. You are good. And you'll come to realize that someday, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still working on it, so maybe I'll get back to you on that. But next time, we're going to go play against the Niles team with our childhood friends. It's just going to be adorable. So until then, thank you so much, whoever happens to be watching this. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out. Until next time, bye.